Do you know how we can track deformed surface like this? You see? Pretty awesome. They did that for Lost of Us. Amazing technique. Let's see what's happening. I got a bottle of Patron and some lights off. Two red devil looking eyeballs. And I'm finna turn up when the night falls. If you hear a siren, then it's my fault. Jump in my whip, baby, let's ride. We ain't gonna stop at a red light. And I'ma take shots like a tech nine. <laughs> it's gonna get live. Hi everyone, this is Dai Zen. My privilege to be here. Okay. To be honest, object deformation tracking is something new to me, rather than the face, of course. We have keen tools for that. Thank you, keen tools. But many objects had a deformation. For example, this hand, you see. How we can track that and use that, for example, in Houdini? My simple uh, pipeline is Nuke and Houdini. So, how can I track that in Nuke, for example? It's something new to me, to be honest. So for this, I inspired by uh, this awesome presentation by Storm Studio. You see, they did Last of Us forehead cut. So to achieve this amazing cut, as you can see, you need to have amazing deformation match or uh, more time to animate the deformation will be big big headache believe me so they have amazing idea rather than that they capture the deformation on the set you see we have this footage of the back scene and they use mocha pro mocha pro it's amazing 3d uh, 2d software to construct a 3d scene of course from the footage as you can see but yeah i want to do that in nuke Man, I love Nuke and yeah, let's hope everything goes right. So, as you can see, we have uh, original footage because it's not 4K and it's not have uh, obvious deformation, exaggerated deformation. So I decide to use my hand instead of that. You see, this is my hand and i exaggerate this uh, movement and i want to capture that as you can see you see for example i want to make a cut to my hand you see that amazing it's have a uh, motion blur etc everything so let's begin simple i uh, i begin with uh, tracking or rotoscoping uh, the stick of course i reformat that i want to uh, for this demonstration I want to work fast and I blur the mask and I use in paint to clean up. This is not clean up tutorial. That's why I am speeding up the process. So instead of the blur in in paint, I use a clean frame. You see that? You see that's before and after. So we have amazing cleanup, but our still frame, it's static, not having this deformation. This is downside for this technique. So this is my situation. Let's see how we can capture deformation in Nuke. Let's research that in Google, for example. Okay, Foundry. We have amazing uh, blog in here, transform tracking, corpin tracking, all that in Nuke, stabilization, 3D camera, blah, 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 plane tracker. And we have keen tools in Nuke for object tracking and face. We don't have anything anything for uh, object deformation far as i know to be honest and we have a grid warp uh, tracking that's amazing for the deformation okay that's good it's using smart vector speaking of smart vector smart vector is simple and amazing powerful uh, future in houdini as you can see we have a smart vector in here and i can uh, use this source to store this pixel vector deformation as you can see in the past and as you can see for example we can uh, use it for this static uh, frame as you can see the problem was it's not moving it's not have any deformation matching to the uh, the source so we have vector destroyed and we can use it like that you see that i am uh, doing that in simple way as you can see and now as you can see we have the deformation for the clean uh, frame that's amazing using smart vector you see that without any tracking without any headache so we have motion blur as you can see in the source 
and uh, but the clean uh, uh, frame we don't have any motion blur but since we have smart vector we have amazing vector to motion that will give us this amazing aov for the motion blur what <laughs> man that's genius to be honest so for that now we can use motion blur to match the blur with the uh, source frame as you can see yeah let me show you quickly and you can uh, connect that and matching the blur you see before and after amazing so uh, this is a smart vector it will uh, give us a boost for creativity amazing you see that so with that, if you like this kind of video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more content. Share it if you want. That will be amazing. Big, big shout out for these amazing people on my Patreon. Thank you guys. And our family is growing up. Amazing. The part two of this tutorial, it's available only on my Patreon. So now we have a problem. We don't have any deformation tracking for 3D. That's a big big problem i don't know it will work in nuke or not let's cross finger so uh, the only option we have uh, storing the deformation is smart vector but smart vector is for 2d structure base not for 3d so any idea guys any opinion leave me in the comment section so with that i think let's go with the closest option smart vector Please God, please work. So we have our scene as you can see in Nuke. Let's create smart vector and let's connect that and create our export right because it's heavy lifting operation. That's why I am uh, storing that as a uh, EXR as you can see with this expression, hashtag, hashtag, and that's represent the frame. As you can see, we have our uh, smart uh, vector but uh, we have amazing option called mate or mat as you can see uh, so in source alpha we have our alpha stick as you can see and we can repaint that and uh, exclude that from smart vector that will be awesome and of course we can uh, increase the vector details and strength that uh, will boost off the quality so let's export that so we have our smart vector but how we can turn that to 3d i don't know oh, wait we have displacement geo or geo displacement in 3d let me see if that will work or not so let's create this card and we have this amazing uh, node called displace uh, displace geo as you can see amazing that will uh, take a 3d object and it will take uh, a texture and it will work uh, based on black and white uh, between zero and one like displacement map as you can see you see we have our the uh, our checkerboard for this example you see we have gray and white and let's see what we'll get amazing this is this place geo as you can see we have amazing uh, parameter here scale and filtering for uh, smoothing as you can see now how we can transfer smart vector data to this displacement geo let's go crazy okay 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 let's begin let's begin now as you can see we have uh, this smart vector and let's shuffle that because i want to promote uh, all these passes to the RGBA as you can see so we have that and let's see man that's horrible okay something it's happened but not quite there you see it's not working this is crazy so this technique it's not working instead of that let me let me try vector destroyed uh, as you can see and I want to destroy this uh, I want to deform this grid as you can see and yeah amazing okay okay something it's happening as you can see this grid is defor deformed and I will use that for this place geo wow it's I think it's working you see that man nice 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 okay 
Amazing. So we have our deformation. I think we had it. Uh, also, this is odd, but let me see. So let's create our right geo and let's export it as Alembic in Houdini. Let's go in Houdini and import that uh, with Alembic node. Man, amazing Houdini. So we have our grid and this is packed grid. Let me unpack it. As you can see, we have one point. Let's unpack it and see. Is that working? Oh boy, it's not working. Disappointment. You see why? Because it's not uh, deform the mesh. You see all this grid. I use that as a texture. It's not working. So I think it's not going to work. Should I give up? I don't know. So let's see. Okay, we have output a steam map. What is a steam map? A steam map in New York. Okay, something in having steam map not allow you to move the pixel around the image. A steam map use the channel blah 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 and pixel from. Okay, let's use a steam map instead of the grid. Okay, we have a small movement on a steam map and we have that hooked up to the displays geo and maybe in the red channel green okay what is that odd let's play okay not bad some pixel uh, is moving and yeah not pixel uh, sorry it's geometry polygon and rgb absolute mode and as you can see okay it's working i guess it's working amazing so let me change the size on exact ratio and yeah so we have a rectangle now and let's see let's see what's happening let's set up quickly a camera blah 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 and the scene okay and let's offset that and let's go scan scan line a renderer so we have our grid in here and let's merge it with the actual footage i want to check the deformation and you see that okay it's not working it's it's deformed but it's not sync with the movement so let me see what option we have st map inverse amazing amazing yeah let's go let's go let's go and boy you see that it's working this is the grid this is the card it's not 2d information you see that amazing without any tracking without going in mocha pro bro <laughs> it's working so now let me export that uh, to the houdini i want to double check that i'm not believing that so let's unpack that and you see amazing it's working finally you see that uh, all the this uv it's moving that's uh, the evidence uh, it's uh, deformed based on the footage as you can see you see that amazing and if we paint that as you can see it's working so on my patreon we are going to see how we can use this data in houdini in simple way we're gonna uh, clean the data as you can see we have garbage data and we're gonna uh, track the stick to use it for the cut and i will generate a line and i will cut that you see amazing based on the deformation all that only on my patreon see you guys goodbye